Yeah, what looked like was going to be four drivers fighting it out. We're back up to about 15 or 16 with four to go. Yeah, this could get real interesting. Bump drafting Jimmy Johnson and Kevin Harvick in the 29 as they come to speed. Look at that little green car slipping in the picture there. Larry, who is that? That would be Brother Mike. <laughs> They're in that 26 car. He beats all I've ever seen. In fifth place. Biffle on the inside now. Riding with Walter. Johnson just ahead in third. Logano just behind in fourth. Then Earnhardt Jr. and Truex. This is somewhat the situation we were in at the start of the race where it just looks like that outside line is lining up and, and they're going to prevail here. You know, quite honestly, I know Michael's in a great spot right there, but in all reality, uh, he can't afford to have a problem. At the back of that pack, David Rudiman just lost the transfer spot to 14. Tony Stewart. Look at that bottom. They come off the corner right there. They're three wide coming up off, uh, off two over there. Headed down the back. Yeah, look, look at Montoya in the 42. He was just on pit road getting repairs and four tires. And look at him coming up through there on the bottom. He got them good repairs. Made that baby better. Speed, Rudiman. Rudiman, speed. The 95 and the 83 fighting for the last spot. And just ahead of them, they are log jammed three abreast. Nemechek now in the transfer spot in the 87. Hang on to her, boys. And Harvick's having to do the same thing he did the other night. He's driving out the windshield, but he's almost driving as much out the rear window. He's working it, baby. He's working it. He's waiting for somebody to make a move. And Waltrip on the outside, backing up just a bit. Stewart on the bottom. That's Kurt Busch in the 78 coming up the middle with Casey Mears. I can't get over Montoya in that 42. He is just beating the rear bumper off the pistol down the back straightaway. Finally gets off. Montoya in the target car started, restarted, 13th. He is up to third. White flag in the air. And I, none too soon, I might add. Nemechek checking the transfer spot three wide near the back of that pack. Can that owner driver race his way into the 500? The same two drivers at the end of the Sprint Unlimited. Harvick in first, Biffle in the 16 in second. Don't look now, Ethel. Now Gilliland 15. Now Scott Speed. What a desperate battle to make Sunday's Great American Race. Now Gilliland, the 38. All in a wad. Here they come. Every time we see this on the last lap, what do we see? The problems? Checkers or wreckers? Here they come. Final time. Harvick to win it from Biffle. Thank you, Good job. All in the pack. 17 cars. Oh, my. And unofficially, the final driver to race his way in, Michael Waltrip. Wow. 15. Oh my gosh. Michael Curtis at CW, you got a copy? We, we don't have no. We need to get our right, our right front. Barrel by nine done. one hundredths of a second. Waltrip edges Scott Speed for the final transfer spot. Hey, Mike, you see that? You got a copy? Loud and clear, brother. That was intense. Whoa, buddy. You just barely made it in, but guess what? You made it in. Yeah, there's a lot of people up in Connecticut, I know, with a big smile on their face for this uh, Texas Newtown to 8088 Toyota. I'm just real proud to get in the race for them. They can sit up in the cold on Sunday in the Northeast and watch a big old-fashioned, fancy NASCAR race from Daytona. Don't get much better than that. Holy cow, buddy, I thought you were going to win it there for a couple laps, but it looked like you got in the wrong line. Well, I didn't get in the line. My line became the wrong line. You know, it's no coincidence that Biffle and Harvick were up front Saturday night in the shootout. They're really fast, even though, you know, me and Jimmy had it all pulled together, it looked like. They just, they just were too strong. Their cars are really fast, so watch for those guys in the 500. And then we were a little tight at the end. we got to work on our handling. But, uh... Thank the team. Really happy to be a part of this show. Good job, buddy. Uh, work on her a little bit. Yeah, she needs some.
Kevin Harvick had never won a duel in 11 tries. Now he is headed for victory lane as we go to Steve Burns. Well, Mike, Carl Edwards just out of the infield care center. And, uh, Carl, let's take a look at the replay and you can walk us through what happened. <laughs> I was driving along, minding my own business, and I thought, well, I'll just go up here and get close to these guys so I can get a pull down the back straightaway. And then I saw in my mirror, it seemed like Denny got sideways. Yep, he got sideways, hit me right here. I thought, boy, I'm going to flip. And fortunately, it didn't. But, um... That's the fourth time we've wrecked the car since we've been down here before the Daytona 500. So um, i got to thank my guys for working so hard. They're putting these things back together, and um, fortunately we got fast and all stuff. We got nuts and bolts from them, and we'll get it all put back together. But it's really uh, – Is that car totaled, Carl? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask the blind obvious. Yeah, it, uh, that's the only direction it would go after I couldn't go right. I was trying real hard to get back. Yeah, around. she's torn up. It, it's broke. Um, but now we'll go. We'll go have a, you know, a 500 and uh, try to avoid the wrecks. Like Jack said, I know what the wrecks look like now. I'm really familiar with them. So we'll go get this. You're pre crashed. Yeah, pre, pre crashed for the 500. I mean, how how much better does it get than that? We'll uh, we'll hopefully get a, a, our Ford Fusion to, to victory lane. I want to win this 500. Don't count us out. We're, we're working hard. Our guys are in the groove, and um, it's uh, it's nothing but work. We'll just go do it. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Late last.